New fag tutorial number three, how to triforce. One, open the thread you want to triforce. Two, now make a new notepad file. Three, type blah blah blah. Four, save as triforce.bat. Five, open the file your triforce is made. Let's give that a try. Step one, I guess I'm, I don't know where I am, but whatever. Let me go on. Open notepad. Notepad. Okay. It says to type at echo off D E L C colon backslash windows backslash System 32. I imagine it has to be spelled right, so I think that's right. Now, save as triforce.bat. So not as a text file, but as all files. Save as all files triforce.bat back. Save. And step number five, open the file your Triforce has made. Let me see. My documents, Triforce. Here it is. Let's see what happens. Are you sure? Yes. Enter. Get a bunch of access denied, but I don't know. I don't think anything happened. Let's see what happened. Do I need to restart my computer or something? What if I uh, log off and log back on? That's quicker than restarting. Well, this didn't do as I expected it to. I guess that's just what happens. It freezes when you try to shut down. wonder how long this is going to take. Okay, I give up. Oh, but this is what happens when you try to boot your computer up again. It works until the next time you reboot. Windows could not start because the following file is missing or corrupt. Windows root slash system32 slash hal.dll please reinstall a copy of the above file. Now if I were to do that, that probably wouldn't be good enough because there's probably lots of other missing files. And just doing them one at a time, you never know what other kind of problems you're going to run into. Okay, dope. So there's my computer that's hosed. Fortunately, it is a virtual machine. You have a mouse pointer here. Make it not full screen. See, here's my uh, Windows 7 host. This is just in a virtual machine. So close it, just power it off. Go into my virtual machine monitor go into snapshots and restore the, where it was before I made that file. Do it. It's done. Boot it up. I just reverted my hard drive. Full screen. And XP is booting again. Because it's like I switched back to the old hard drive from before any of this was ever done. So it's a time machine. I just went back in time. Yeah!